Left is a late bloomer, but he didn't let up on it. He was Ireland's number one, number two. He's one of Leinster's most capped players, and he's got rugby's most recognisable hairdo. Please welcome Shane Byrne. <laughs> Shane, good to see you. How are you? Have you done something with your hair? Have I done something with it? I haven't bloody cut it, if that's what you mean. <laughs> so listen, the thing is, uh, you finally, uh, this year, after all this time, I believe, got some recognition for the mullet. You got, you got an yeah. award, didn't you? <laughs> I did, yeah, yeah. Going back, uh, Brill Cream decided to, to award me for the best sporting hairdo. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, and, uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, and uh, ironically... Ironically enough, in the change room with some of the guys after the games, there's some guys spend a lot of time on the hair, and I don't. No, and, uh, I'd say that hair not never saw a lick of brill cream at all, did it? I can't say that. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. They gave yeah. me the award. I can, sm I can smell the brill cream from yeah, here. Yeah. But, uh, but come here, say, what, what is the hair about? Like, uh, is it just that... Excuse me? <laughs> well, obviously it's very flattering, and that could be the reason you wear it. Or is, are you a metaler, like? Yeah. Really? <laughs> I'd be a rocker at heart, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, I, I suppose it, as a young lad, it just you know, listen to the music and, and stuff that you let the hair grow a little bit. And then when I went up to school up in Dublin and uh, started to realise that down the country it's fine because... Yes, yeah, small no, town. Yeah, exactly. Cool no, haircut, like from yeah. Ockham County, Wicklow, no one really cared what the hell you were yeah. putting on your head. And uh, started playing rugby up in, up in Dublin and people just were like looking a bit strange at it. So I actually went through a stage where... I tried conforming, and I think it was around 13 or 14. Yeah. And the trend was, for some bloody reason, was to shave the hair, the hair off. I'd say you look good with yeah, shaving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, like yourself, I'm no blessed with chiseled yeah. features, you know. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you know, if I, had, uh, if I had shaved hair, I think the roundness might come out a bit more. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't pull it off quite like Gavin. Jeez, yeah. when I saw his hair too. Um, so, so you got it all shaved yeah, off? Yeah, I shaved about yeah. the age of 14, I shaved it off, but... Coincidentally, I got a chest infection, lost my position on the team, I didn't get it back. So that had nothing to do with running around in the snow and messing around. That, in my eyes, that yeah, was, I cut my hair, so that was it. So. And, and, and you also, I know, feel kind of fairly seriously that, not so much in, in Leinster, but that mm. it kind of w within the Irish team, because you, you, you didn't get a game there for eight years. Yeah. You felt the mullet held, held you back a little bit. Well, yeah? no, it did. It, it did. Like, I was told... Um, 1993, I first got in the Irish squad. Uh, I didn't get my first cap until 2001. I was in and out of the squad like a yo-yo all that time. Yeah. Sat on the bench several times. But there was times I played on the tour. I was in the World Cup in 95. They were happy with me after that. They basically said, get your hair cut. I said no, and I was dropped. Really? Yeah. And what was it about, like? Well, I suppose it's that, you know, they probably interpreted it as non-conforming, as, as, as being a bit of a... A rebel. Like, I came from a, a GA hurling background with the socks around the ankle and the hair, whatever the uh -huh. hell. You could be down to your arse, it didn't matter. And, uh, you know, so I just thought to me, like, I'm here to play rugby. Who, who you know, it's, it's my risk if I'm wearing the hair. But given you know, that you're hanging around eight years for a cap, if you thought yeah. that you'd, you'd get it if you cut the hair, you would have well, had it quicker. No, well, not at the time. I, I have to say, towards the end of the 90s, when I had been playing for Leinster, touching on 10 years, and it was looking still like I wasn't going to get a cap. I was starting to get worried. Yeah. I was starting to say, why didn't I get the feckin' haircut? You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I, was, yeah. I was really, you know... But I suppose now, looking back on it, uh, I can't complain. Like, it's, no. it's part you, of who I am. And when you did get in there, you, you had a fantastic career, of course. Yeah, the, thank the you very Lions much. Yeah, and, and yeah. 41... 41 caps. caps. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And...